Oh, brothers and sisters, I'm in Jaffa, Israel, and it's a great day to celebrate the Almighty, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and there is no other. Amen? Amen. The one that is and was and is to come. And brothers and sisters, we all got to be ready for Him when He comes. Amen? Amen. Today the message is for the Jews, the chosen people, the elect, and the remnant. And so we'll read about that today. So if you brought your Bibles, please turn with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 24. We'll start reading at verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop and not go down to take anything out of the house. Let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant in those days and are nursing babies in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in the winter or on the Sabbath. For then there shall be great tribulation, such as never been since the beginning of the world until this time. No, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. And brothers and sisters, the elect are the Jews. And in this particular case, they're called the remnant, the ones that are left when our Lord and Savior comes to take wrath on this earth. And so one more passage. Turn with me to the book of Zechariah, chapter 14. And we'll start reading in verse 2. For I will gather all nations to battle against Jerusalem. The city shall be taken the house is rifled, and the women ravished. Half the city shall go into captivity, but the remnant of the people shall not be cut off from the city. And the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations, as he fights in the day of battle. And in that day his feet will stand on Mount Olives, which faces Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from the east to the west, making a very large valley. Half the mountain shall move towards the north, and half towards the south. Then you shall flee through my mountain valley, for the mountain valley shall reach to Hazel. So now, brothers and sisters, we know that in the last times that there's going to be great tribulation, and here God himself is going to draw nations to fight Israel, to try to take over Israel. They've always wanted this land, and they're going to try to take it. There's going to be a lot of death and a lot of suffering. And if you are not part of the kingdom, if you haven't received Yeshua as your Lord and Savior, you're going to be left here. But if you're a follower of Him, you will run when you see the abomination of desolation set up here in the Holy Land. And God Himself, Jesus, Yeshua, will come and save you along with all the rest of the remnant and take you through that split valley that He'll make and take you to safety to His mountain. And He will make everything new, brothers and sisters. You will be looking at a new heaven and a new earth and you will reign with him for a thousand years and you will have possessions and you will have a new body but you will look the same amen and then when we hear the last trumpet it'll be the last judgment the great white throne judgment and then we will all have new bodies heavenly bodies and we will live forever and ever with our lord and savior no more death no more crying no more suffering amen amen so brothers and sisters, always remember to take Christ as your master, your teacher, your example. Believe his doctrine and obey him. Amen. Amen.